Now with an extraordinary legacy on this Holocaust Remembrance Day, one family's incredible journey all the way from Auschwitz to America's professional basketball courts. Take a look. Here's Johnson. Off to Grunfeld, got the clear shot, and he hits it. Yeah, I started writing my family's story in business school because I always grew up feeling the profound impact that basketball had had on my family. You know, my dad came to the United States when he was nine years old, had never touched a basketball, didn't speak a word of English. Roughly a decade later, he was standing on top of the Olympic podium as a gold medalist for the United States. So growing up and knowing that history, it always meant the world to me. And as I got older, as I understood it even better, it really became my dream to tell it. My dad, Ernie Grunfeld, is very well known in the game of basketball and in the world of sports, but few people know about his background, that he's the only player in NBA history whose parents survived the Holocaust. Holocaust Remembrance Day is such an important day for my family to remember those who passed away, but also to remind people about the Holocaust so they never forget. I learned from my grandmother, she's a Holocaust survivor. She lost five siblings and two parents in the Holocaust, but she's the most positive person. She's the first one to laugh and smile and tell a joke. And, you know, life is that way. You know, it's joy and pain and it's tragedy and triumph. My dad, Ernie Grunfeld, six foot six, really big guy. He had a nine year NBA career with the Milwaukee Bucks, the Kansas City Kings and the New York Knicks. And then my dad had a 30 year career as an NBA general manager. And so he's really had this storybook basketball journey. He played for the New York Knicks and he chose number 18. And 18 is a symbolic number in Judaism, you know, that representing high, which means to life. And so for my dad to be the only player in NBA history whose parents survived the Holocaust, to not only play for the New York Knicks, but to wear number 18 for the Knicks is something so special for my family. Basketball was absolutely a, a place of healing for my dad. And my book is called By the Grace of the Game for a reason. It's not that he concealed this story, but it's hard to talk about. You know, basketball is wins and losses, but this story is life and death. I'm so proud of everything my dad has accomplished. And so to see him have such amazing success in the NBA yeah, as the son of Holocaust survivors, I mean, it, for me as his son, I couldn't be prouder. You know, as parents, we say that to our kids all the time, but when you hear it back, how special is that? And that is a perfect example of why we never forget. You can pick up a copy of By the Grace of the Game wherever books are sold. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching. And we'll see you in the morning on GMA.